In recent news, there was the announcement that the spiritual successor to SWAT 4, Ready or Not, a game I have yet to lay my hands on, sadly, would have a level based on a school shooting. It is unclear if this was actually controversial. While gaming outlets reported on this, it seems like it was not behind the break with their publisher Team17, and I have not seen a majority of players being opposed to the idea, considering it was done right. And that, I feel, is the crux of the issue. People are not really against controversial topics, they just want them to be done justice. Uh, rather than to keep talking about that idea, I want to take three examples on how SWAT 4 approached difficult or sensitive topics. Anyone who have played SWAT 4 will most likely know exactly what I'm talking about when I say Fairfax Residence, A-Bomb Nightclub, and Children of Tyrone, that are arguably the most disturbing missions in the game. This is Central BCC, Adam Boy and Truck One responding to 25 Glendive Lane for high risk warrant service. Fairfax Residence is one of the first levels and almost seems like it wants you to understand what you're getting into. Not only does it contain one of the first stubborn civilians that needs to be subdued, an old lady with health problems no less, but it soon devolves into a serial killer's lair and just the implication of what he does to his poor victims. Talk, this is Entry Team. A lot of kids didn't make it out and we're moving slower than expected. Continuing on. A bomb nightclub feels ripped right from the headlines. It is an active shooter situation with two gangs firing at each other and not caring who comes between them. The number of casualties, the fact that most of you probably have been in a club similar to that one, the callous attitude of the shooters you arrest who essentially feel the entire thing is justified, is another well-designed level that touches upon an all too familiar topic. I left you something in the basement. The Children of Tyrone, or that level, as me and my friend Andrew calls it, is beyond creepy. During the briefing, you will be told that there are children inside, but as you progress through the mission, you will see signs that children may indeed live in the house, and the first time playing through it, you expect them to be simply written out. Then you start paying attention to the cryptic warnings, and by the time you reach the basement, you find their tombs and realize the parents have been made to kill their own children. Mother of God, those graves. They're just children. Talk, we found a graveyard in the basement. Looks like it's their children. Uh, copy that, entry team, notifying the morgue. The discovery is so poignant, it makes even TOC pause for a moment in sheer shock. In most cases, Tyrone himself will be next to his handiwork. What makes SWAT 4 truly shine in all three above situations is that there's no place for your own feelings or desire for retribution. This is not a revenge fantasy. Rather, you are expected and required to conduct your operations in full accordance with the law. Two of the missions contain deranged individuals who have caused considerable harm to their respective communities, but they're not stupid. They will more than often throw down their weapons and surrender to you. The game makes it very tempting, easy even, to just shoot them, but if you do, you will lose points, and if you play on higher difficulties, losing points means you have to replay the level. This is, in my opinion, the right way to show both how a police officer should act and a commentary upon the acts themselves. Victory is when you bring the suspect in in front of a court of law, and that is something SWAT 4 never forgot. I hope Ready or Not never does either.